Marie's Chinese watercolor sets are designed to give you colors that more closely match that of the natural world. They're designed for sumi painting or just any kind of watercolor painting if you want to add a, a little bit of a different type of color to your art. So there are two different sets. There's the master set of 12, and this is going to have more traditional um, hues of a Chinese kind of uh, sumi painting set. And then you have your set of 18 here, which are going to have a little bit more modern color, modern pigments, and that kind of lends itself to a bit of a brighter look to it. But both are, it's not the same. So Marie's actually makes a watercolor set, but I'm going to show you a little later, the colors in this are not the same shade that you would get from the watercolors, the traditional watercolors. So, you know, when it comes to things like, especially, I feel greens. Um, if the green is, is just like a pure green or a little off, it can look kind of plastic, a little fake. The Marie sets are designed to give you just a little bit more of a natural sheen, a natural look to them. And, you know, Sumi painting uh, is extremely, extremely old form of painting, um, has a, a lot of tradition, a lot of history involved with it. And so, you know, whether you're doing bamboo or koi, I feel like the, a lot of the things that you paint in Sumi are from nature. You know, you don't see city structures and such uh, in traditional Sumi paintings. You see things like panda bears, you see things like butterflies, nature. Uh, and that's what these colors are supposed to mimic. So let's just take a look at them real quick. Uh, the first thing I'll show you, these are going to be the um, master set of 12, okay? And they're just, they're just really nice. They're, I, I feel like they're a little softer to the eye. Um, they're going to be a more traditional type of color that you get with traditional sumi. Now, over here, I have two different color charts. One is the Marie's set of 18 watercolors, and the other is their um, Chinese colors, the um, more modern ones. And I wanted to see, hopefully you can see at home, that there is a difference. Uh, up here are the watercolors, and down here are the uh, Chinese watercolors. So if you look at certain colors, I, I see a big difference. You know, looking at, so this is the traditional watercolor, so you have this type of like, you know, deep ultramarine type blue. And then you come down here, and it, it just, I don't know, it looks a little bit more like a, like an indigo, uh, it has a, has a bit of a more Prussian blue feel, um, but they're just a little bit more subtle. Now take a color like purple, and even the purple, you can see, it. this is traditional watercolor, and then here's the Chinese. It's just a little bit more subtle. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to mix mud or that they're, they're toned down because there's less pigment. These are colors that are designed to mimic that of the natural world. So I hope you enjoy them. Give them a try, whether you do Sumi art or you want to add some different colors to your collection of watercolors. Uh, they're a great product to try. Thanks so much.